Hi guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to Local History, and happy birthday to me! Yay! Today's my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Alright! Man, I can't believe it. Today is finally my birthday. It's January 7, 2020, 2021, and today's my birthday! Yay! Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I, I It's finally my birthday today. I can't, I'm so glad you're here. Man! Are you all ready to see what you're ready to witness on my birthday? Great! Because we still have new episodes of Moshi Monsters Biography and Moshi Sleep Story Reactions later on today. But, but today, on Local History, we are celebrating my birthday today. Yay! And for episode 257, we have a surprise for you. We're going to a place where I had diarrhea and I hate the most and I won't be, I won't be going there ever again. That's why, right. for, for episode 257, we are taking a look at Arby's. Oh man, ugh. Now this is a place that gave me the most diarrhea, and that is gross, ugh. Now, we may have sandwiches, but in the end, it's not good. So sorry for the, so sorry for, so sorry for the fat, but, but but either way, we're still okay, we're good to go, so without further ado, let's begin. But before we do, if it's our take of a little bit, credit goes to everyone, I don't want any of the images as seen in, in, this, in this video, so... Thank you for your support. And now, let's get started. Here's a short for those who don't know what Arby's is. Arby's is an American fast food sandwich restaurant chain with more than 3,300 restaurants system-wide and the third in terms of, of revenue. In October 2017, Food & Wine called Arby's America's second largest sandwich chain after Subway, which I already talked about in the previous episode, so please give that a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Um, Arby's is owned by Inspire Brands, the renamed Arby's Restaurant Group, Inc., or ARG. ARG was renamed as the company took over the whole... And took over ownership of Buffalo Wild Wings on February 5th, 2018. Rourke Capital Group acquired 81.5% of Arby's Restaurant Group in July 2011 and is now a majority owner of Inspire Brands. The Wendy's company had, had uh, held a minority stake in 18.5% of in Arby's after the acquisition by Rourke Capital. That shared, uh, the fat share was reduced to 12.3% upon the purchase of Buffalo Wild Wings. And was sold back to Inspire Brands on August 16, 2018, for $450 million, a 30% premium. And of course, I'll talk about Buffalo Wild Wings in a, in a future episode of the series, so keep an eye out for it when it comes out. Uh, in addition to his classic roast beef and beet and cheddar sandwiches, Arby's, produces, Arby's products also include Daddy Style Market Fresh Line, uh, Market Fresh Line of Sandwiches, Greek Gyros, Greek Gyros, Curly Fries, and Jamocha Shakes. Its headquarters are in Sandy Springs, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta, which uses Atlanta mail, which uses Atlanta mail addresses. In 2019, there were 3,472 restaurants. There are locations in six countries outside the outside the United States: Canada, Turkey, Qatar, Kuwait, Egypt, and South Korea. So that's pretty much it. Nothing else to worry about here. So, yeah, like now you know. So we have to, so we have four in the Middle East and one in Asia. As well as one, as well as one North and one in North America that have international locations for Arby's. So now you know. Like it says here, an restaurant name is Arby's Industries Restaurants, founded on July 23rd, 1964, owned by Inspire Brands. Headquarters are in Sandy Springs, Georgia, United States. Let's look at We Have the Meats. And their website is www.arby's.com. The link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out. For now, let's start. Are you ready? This here we go. Let's start the location of Arby's. We have the meats. 1964-1969, the restaurant was founded as Arby's Roast Beef Sandwich. So we have a brown cowboy hat, and inside there are the words Arby's Roast Beef and Sandwich in white text under them. There are the words, it's and delicious in white text. And on the right of the words, Arby's and delicious, there's a white register to trademark sign. So that's pretty much it. 1969-2012, um, they changed the name to Arby's. So yeah, that's pretty much it. They are, the cowboy hat is now simpler, it is now red. It is now, uh, it is now red, and now in the middle of it, there's where Arby's in red text. So yeah, that's that's what that's all I gonna say about here. Here's the three here is the here is the 3D version. 2012 to 2013, same as the previous logo, except the font of the word Arby's has changed and the logo is now darker. So yeah, that's that's all I gonna say about here. And there's uh, uh, and the apostrophe is it looks, it looks like a slice the uh, a slice of meat, or should I say, yeah, and it, it has two notches. Yeah, the apostrophe has two notches on the word uh, on the uh, 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 on its side, so yeah, pretty much it. So anyway, the the font changed and the logo is darker. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the here's the three D version and the version with the slogan "Slicing up freshness." And finally, just in thirteen to the present, same as the previous logo, except the, except the logo became brighter, past but it has smaller, and the bottom of Arby's has changed again. 
So yeah, let's pray. Let's pray for the logo. Here at the Inverted Version, the version with the slogan, we have the meats, the duck season version, the St. Patrick's Day version, the 4th of July version, and the Huntsy season version. But guys, that's it. It's over. Thank you all for watching another episode of Logo History. Man, we hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, and a huge happy birthday to me, everybody. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, share with your friends, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the notification. Turn on to not miss another new video from me as we're on the road to 600 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. I'm Ego Sanchez. You be yourself. And I will see you tomorrow on Logo History. Man. Arby's had the meats. This next restaurant has real breakfast 24 7. See you tomorrow for episode 258 as we take a look at Denny's. So come on back. We will see you there. I hope you will too. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 258 as we take a look at Denny's. But stay tuned for new episodes of Moshi Monsters, Spy Me, and Moshi Sleep Story Reactions later on today. Have a great rest of your day. Like, favorite, subscribe. We'll see you guys in another video. Laters!